everyone, my name is Marnie and I'm usually here in front of the camera talking to you about makeup and fashion and clothing and all those fun things. But back in March, I uploaded a video, top 10 ways to look good in a Zoom meeting. And I definitely stand by all those tips. I'm following some of them right now, like filming in front of a big natural light source. But my number one most asked question was how do you get that pretty fuzzy background and really clean crisp, clear picture. And up until fairly recently, I didn't have an answer for you. But Canon has recently upgraded their software, and as long as you have a Canon camera and some sort of Mac computer, you can now make any of your Zoom calls or FaceTime calls or what have you look just like film quality. I'm going to demonstrate for you today using a couple of cameras. There are over 40 in the Canon family that you can use. I'll have the links for everything you'll need to use, including the equipment, down in the description box, so be sure to click show more to get all of that really important information. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to the Canon website, pick the camera that you happen to own, and download the appropriate software. Right now, I am filming on my Canon 80D, and we're gonna demonstrate first with my Canon EOS Rebel T6i just so I can show you the difference in quality between the two using the exact same lens. But don't worry, if you don't have a DSLR camera, you can also use a few of the power shot options, which are only a couple hundred dollars, and it will give you a beautiful crisp picture as well. So enough talk, let me show you the difference between the webcam, the T6i, and we'll end with the 80D. First things first, let's open a new meeting. Hey friends. I'm talking to you via the webcam that is built into my MacBook Pro. And as you can see, the colors aren't as crisp and you can see all these little kind of dots. I'm a little pixelated there. It's not as sharp as I would like it. As I like to say, it's good, but not great. So now let me demonstrate with two other cameras. First, let's switch this thing over to my Rebel T6i. First, we need to switch the cameras from the webcam to an external one. So go to the lower left-hand part of your screen where you see stop video, click on that carrot pointing up, and I'm gonna swap over to the EOS webcam utility. And I'm back, this time on my Rebel T6i. As you can see, the colors are sharper, they're brighter. I have a nice fuzzy background behind me. You can change how close in or how far back you want to go. That, of course, depends a bit on the lens. You even get the autofocus on the lens if you need to hold something up on the screen. Let me demonstrate using the T6i. There it is. Hello. And I am back in focus. Now, that's on a T6i. If I swap over to the 80D, I want you to see the difference in the whole picture as well as how fast it does autofocus. Hang on, we'll be back with the 80D. And hello, here I am on my Canon 80D, same exact lens that I had on the T6i, but as you can see, the angle's a little different. I have a much fuzzier background and the lighting is just that much better and I have changed nothing except the body of the camera. Let me demonstrate autofocus on this. And then it processes just a little bit faster. So if you're really looking to step up your Zoom meeting or a FaceTime call or Google Hangout or what have you, I definitely recommend investing in a good DSLR and a good lens. All my recommendations are down in the description box. All right, enough playing with the different cameras. Let's close this out. Let's run through the extra equipment that you might need. And all this is dependent on the camera that you're choosing to hook up your computer to and the computer that you have. But I'm gonna walk you through what I have. Be sure to check the instructions on your camera and on your computer so you get exactly what you need. So with the MacBook Pro, I need an adapter so that I can plug this USB cord into my computer. So this is more of a standard USB, I think it's called a USB-A, that plugs into this adapter and then it has a USB-C end that plugs directly into the computer. And on the other end, it has a mini USB that plugs directly into the camera. So you'll need some sort of cord to connect your camera to the computer. And in many cases, you'll need some sort of adapter to connect the cord to the computer. So it's 2021, it's a new year, and hopefully with these tips, it's some new high quality Zoom calls in your future. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in my next video.